Hey Darklings, it's been forever. I was gonna make this on my TikTok, which I've kind of used as a cop-out to making large videos. Also, I am still podcasting and getting back in the rhythm after a break I took from that. I'm working on a project where I'm actually hoping to bring a werewolf museum to the public, like a small roadside attraction kind of deal, um, because I have so many werewolf collectibles. I came across this, was really excited about it, and I was like, I should do an unboxing for YouTube. So that's what we're doing. This is uh, the Loot Crate Fright Crate. I got this on eBay. I love the, the name of this. It's Chew Moon instead of New Moon. I'm gonna remove the art off this box because it is an ode to an old black and white movie in the beginning of the 1900s. And a lot of people I don't think picked up on it is uh, the image is extremely similar to A Trip to the Moon. A lot of people, if you saw the image, would probably recognize it without knowing where it came from. It's just a black and white moon face and like half of his face is taken out by a spaceship. We're gonna open up our uh, our box. I'm really pumped. Like I'm really really excited for this. It is werewolf themed but one of the items is not and I think I'm gonna sell that one item in hopes of getting an actual wolf item that this creator had made and I'll explain that in a little bit. Actually we'll explain it now. We'll, we'll let that be our first our first thing. There is a monster season figure called Billy Hare. I think this is because it came out around um, Astera, you know, Easter time. The Monster Seasons came out with a lichen one though, and I want to acquire it. So I think I might sell this one to pay for, to buy another one on eBay that actually is the one that I really want. Um, but I mean, is it, if it's easy to open, oh no, it's sealed. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna unbox it. This is the yeah, so Loot Fright. I don't think it's called Fright Crate. I, I guess it's just Loot Fright um, by Loot Crate. So this is a Whiskey Chiller uh, Silver Bullet. I really wish they would have themed this box more. As a werewolf lover, of course, I love the items that are in this box. But if I would have just kind of had just a subscription to this box and I just liked werewolves and wasn't like obsessed with them, um, I would consider it a little bit of a letdown. <sighs> Just because I feel like they could, there's so many great horror movies out there that they could have totally capitalized on for doing this, and they they didn't. And and this isn't even. I mean, they could have even. I thought at first this was a Stephen King nod, Silver Bullet, and then I was like, well, yeah, it's a Silver Bullet. It could be really for for a lot, and so I think that's why maybe they generalized it. But it it would have been cool if they would have had different, you know, different horror movies around that. They could have done so many, but this is a Silver Bullet whiskey chiller. I mean, I didn't think you needed instructions but I'm assuming a lot of people probably just didn't know what it was. It just looks like a little prop, which is what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna use that. I'm gonna leave it as this and put it in the museum. But uh, freeze, add a drink, enjoy, repeat. I'm assuming then it's probably stainless steel. It doesn't say? Um, nope. It doesn't say what it's made of, but considering it needs to be in water and they don't want it to rust, I'm assuming it's stainless steel or surgical stainless steel. Um, I am excited that they're, it's really hard to see. Oh, you're not gonna be able to see it because it's almost like etched in there, but it does say for full moon use only and it has This illustration on it, which I really like I wish they would have oh well I guess they couldn't because it's going in a drink But I was gonna say they could have inked it black so you could have seen it better, but I'm I'm sure it's just laser etching the Yep. Oh, this is so much bigger than I thought Ooh, and I get to put it on the board, which I'll show you guys after. I have a board that I'm just putting all my like wolfy pins on. This is awesome. This is great. So Little Red Riding Hood. Um, Austin James is the artist for this. I love it. I absolutely love it. I love it, love it, love it. Is that going to be, I think that's it. This is the information card to use. I guess a lot a lot of people were let down by this box. I, I like everything that's in the box because obviously it's werewolf themed, but like I said, I think my opinion would differ if uh, I was a subscriber to this box, which I am not, but a certain theme could tickle my fancy and I'd probably be persuaded to want at least one box. Um, the Beware the Moon sticker. I mean, it is a sticker. I don't know if it's a sticker for your car because it has that weird square look to it and feel so maybe yeah like it feels like a, a decal that you could put on your car but I'm sure maybe the information has I'm not I'm not taking it out either way 
Um, this is an item for an American werewolf in London. And, uh, well, it says it on here too. I actually didn't see that one right away. I saw this one first. So I'll, I'm going to leave that as is and put that in the museum. And it's, you know, it has a film on it, so it's fine. I guess lastly, I don't know the price of these, of these boxes, but I'm assuming for how much you pay for it, the, the big item in here like here's a sticker a pin and a whiskey chiller and a shirt I mean obviously the shirt um but the big item would be this the billy hair so you would think that they would have wolf themed this but they didn't it would make it like you know little red riding hood and and you could have made it like that but with an easter theme instead of a basket full of goodies could have been a basket full of eggs you know yeah so uh also so I guess that means there are two items from the same movie it would have been cool if they would have just had more. An American Werewolf in London. But I, I do love the shirt. Look at the colors of that. Like, it's amazing. The colors are like super light pastel blue and an awesome kind of magenta purple. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. I'm going to sneeze. Nope. I was going to sneeze, but I was going to make it wolfy. But now, oh, lost opportunities. Uh, I, I do. I love the color of this. It looks really cool. It's got three wolves, uh, three werewolves, three different positions on it. The moon's on it, of course. I like it. I like it a lot. There's nothing on the back, by the way. But uh, this, this is awesome, this shirt. I absolutely adore the shirt. Overall, my thoughts on the box as a werewolf lover, naturally, I love, I love, uh, you know, I love the sticker. I love the shirt. I love the little silver bullet, nod to the lore of werewolfery. And uh, the pin is pretty badass. I just wish that this big, big item, which is like, people are selling it for like $35. So this is the, technically, this is the big item in the box. I mean, you can tell it's, it's the big collector's item that's through, you know, them. You know, when you go with a werewolf theme, everything in the box should be a werewolf theme or something like, interlooped into it I'm not understanding how this one is which is a shame because like I said now I'm gonna hunt for the other one the other one should have been in this box you could have just done your timing different if that's what you were gonna do and wanted you know this during a certain season you could have just did this box either earlier or later on I got a great deal on this box but I'm assuming these you know, this is a big company. Usually they're pretty penny for these kind of boxes. Um, I did videos years and years ago and the channel's not around anymore, but I did, um, if anyone remembers Horror Block, I have so many items from Horror Block. I loved Horror Block when I started. I have a ton of the magazines up there. I have a ton of the Horror Block items. I loved Horror Block. I even was a part of Horror Block in a giveaway and I gave them my paranormal books, which they did a giveaway for, and it was really great. And I had such a good time with Horror Block. At the very end though, they really lost steam and it really ended up being really ugh. But I really do want to find another good horror themed box at some point because I do miss subscription boxes I really do I like them I like surprises I like being surprised I would have loved to not have known what was in it but because this obviously wasn't you know yeah you know, I knew what was in it because it was right in the photo I will show you guys a clip of uh putting the pin out and uh and maybe one of uh that sticker framed which I end up liking that better than I like this <laughs> is the sticker on the box. So, woohoo! All right, I'm pausing the video and adding this in because I was like, a little sick part of me was, all right, we have to look at it. What if I love it? What if I want it as a holiday decoration? What if I want Billy hair in my life? What if I'm missing out on Billy hair? And holy, it looks like a lot of chewed up bubble gum. Dang it, do we like him? Wow, this is a thick figure. It's sturdy, it is heavy. The base is like just plastic, but the figure itself feels great. Dang it, do I like this? What's wrong with me? I like his little little Easter sombrero. Dad just got a sombrero. His hat, his beautiful hat. Also his little floof, appreciate his floof. And his extra little bum floof. His ears are cute. They look like sticky bubble gum, just barely hanging on. I get that. And then the little bloody basket. That's cute. So that's a conundrum. He would make a really interesting springtime decoration. 
you know, bunnies are a great form of uh, pagan fertility, hence the Easter egg. For those curious, I got it to fit in a five by seven frame. And I just got it at the dollar store. I had a bunch of these for art that I made anyway. And I had an extra one. And I was like, oh, I'm going to grab it. And it's silver, which is even better. This ended up being one of my favorite items. <laughs> Go leave it to me to like open up this box, which people probably paid ridiculous amounts for um, on a subscription fee. And I like the sticker on the table. It's vibrant, the colors are cool, the purple, it's like reminiscent, the, even has like a slight glow around it. Totally reminiscent of purple with my werewolves because you have silver, a silver bullet, perfect. Purple for wolf Spain, clearly. I mean, I love me the wolf Spain. And then it's a werewolf moon. Werewolf full moon, come on. And the joke of it not saying new moon, of it saying chew moon, it's gold. This is the sticker on the box was the best thing other than the t-shirt. <laughs> I have a bag of pins I still need to put on that are just wolf themed. So there's a better look at that. It is, it's double pin in it. Double pin in it. There we go. All right, so we'll put it there. Let me put the backs on. There we go. I'm like, this board is obnoxiously big. I'm trying to hold it, but uh, there you go. It's it's a great pin, great quality, great everything. Can't say enough about that. You gotta give you gotta give props to the things that end up being nice in these boxes when there's so many other things that you're like, ugh, could have improved on that. All right, and there we go. So thank you guys for joining me for a video, and I haven't posted in so long. I do want to make more YouTube videos. I just admit that weird part where. Really, everyone got knocked down so many pegs um, during the pandemic, and creatively, it was, like, accelerated. Like, I've got so much more time for activities, and then, like, you don't have a lot of room for activities. It was just, it was a lot, as you all know. I have, you know, like I said, I'm still podcasting, in case you haven't heard of my podcast, Jabber with the Jessica Cabra. You can see my links and stuff on my Instagram, which is just Madam Jess, M-A-D-A-M. D-A-M, yeah, J-U-S-S. -S. My gosh, my brain just like pooped out right there. Yeah, and uh, I, I'm hoping to bring you guys more videos. I do miss the YouTube community. You guys have been amazing. The people who follow my videos, my content. I know a lot of people want more Divination 101s, and I want to bring more unboxings of things that are totally my aesthetic and probably might be yours. You can find me on TikTok too. So that's always something in case you're interested. It's Madam Just. Do I have to spell it again? Please, no! M A D A M J U S S. Madam Just on TikTok. I also have one for Pazooks, which P U Z Z O O K. Wow, I can spell that, but I can't spell my own name. Awesome. So that's about it. Uh, thank you guys, and I will uh, see you guys next time. Just saying.